国际社会要共同构建人与自然生命共同体。When thinking about significant bridge constructions in the world, your mind wanders to the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, Sunshine Skyway Bridge in St. Petersburg, and London's Tower Bridge. However, countless other mega bridges outshine these bridges in scale, innovation, and ambition. Many of these bridges are in China, the Asian superpower known for its mastery of large-scale engineering. What makes these bridges iconic and record-breaking? How much does it cost to erect one of these mega bridges? And how are these massive bridges connecting people and impacting the Chinese economy? Join us in this video as we take you on a tour of the most iconic and spellbinding Chinese engineering that shocked American engineers. We also show you the many innovations that have made these mammoth projects possible in record time. Plus, you will learn what it costs to build the bridges in monetary value. Bridges are structures that help us pass over obstacles such as valleys, bodies of water, and rough terrains. Humans have built bridges from early civilizations using crude and easy to source materials like rocks, wooden logs, and dirt. However, as our knowledge of materials and structure grew, we invented mortar to build more rigid, powerful, and dynamic bridges. In fact, ancient Roman engineers would grind volcanic rocks and use them as material for making mortar. As bridge engineering developed, the Romans discovered the use of arches in building construction. This allowed for lighter bridges that could hold twice its weight in load. They also made water carrying bridges reaching up to incredible heights. With this discovery, the Romans built cheaper, more powerful bridges faster than anyone could imagine. These bridges would span rivers and make transportation easy for the inhabitants of the Roman cities. It is said that the Arcadico Bridge in Peloponnese, Greece, is the oldest arch bridge in existence. This bridge was used as a military highway between two cities and could accommodate the load of chariots. Built around 1300 to 1190 BC with carefully arranged rocks, this bridge remains in good condition and is still crossable today. Fast forward to modern times and you will see a wider variety of materials used in bridge construction. Materials such as concrete, iron, and cables have made building bridges over unfathomable lengths and spans possible. We now have different bridges, bridges with tunnels, underwater bridges, and other engineering innovations unimaginable to Roman engineers. Without a doubt, America boasts of some of the most impressive construction masterpieces in the world. These engineering feats include bridges that span great lengths over oceans, land, and rough terrains. The United States is home to some record-holding and former record-holding bridges. These bridges are iconic in showing how much the American infrastructure and material research industry has grown. However, China seems to have been taking the stage and stealing the show in the recent past. Infrastructure investment is a key priority in China. They are known internationally as the infrastructural maniacs, a reputation that has made them the preferred infrastructural partner for developing African countries. Besides bridges, the Chinese are familiar with making engineering masterpieces, from the ancient wall of China to the elegant Donghai Bridge in Shanghai to the unique design of the CCTV building in Beijing. Although designed by Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas, this building achieves a unique looped shape with the horizontal and vertical sections connected into a continuous tube. This building cost $735 million and is one of Beijing's landmark buildings. Other architectural and engineering megaprojects in China include the Beijing Daxing International Airport. Designed by Zaha Hadid, this airport utilizes a flowing form, tons of natural light, and vaulted ceilings. With China set to take over from the U.S. as the world's largest aviation market, the Beijing airport stands as the symbolic gateway. Another iconic project that speaks to China's engineering prowess is the Lian Museum in Jiangsu Province. This project incorporates regional culture and modern structural methods 
to create an organic building. The Harbin Grand Theater, which opened in 2015, appears to be carved out of wind and water. It is designed to house the city's 100-year-old symphonic orchestra in a two-theater complex that can accommodate up to 2,000 people. Finished with an iconic white exterior, the building echoes the spirit of the northern frigid climate. The building takes on an unconventional shape that would make visitors marvel at its curves, use of materials, and integration with the environment. With about 115,000 square meters of total floor area, this shiny asymmetric building is an architectural and cultural masterpiece. Reforms began under Deng Xiaoping in the late 1970s, with a heavy investment in roads, railways, ports, airports, telecommunications, and energy systems. This led to rapid industrialization, urbanization, and economic growth. In the 1980s and 1990s, China invested hundreds of billions in internal and external infrastructure. This meant China was literally building bridges to connect with surrounding allied nations. This led to an economic boost in the country. This boost meant that the country of over 1.4 billion people could invest in building elaborate engineering masterpieces that would keep the world spellbound. The first Chinese mega bridge we will be looking into is the Qishui River Bridge. The Qishui River Bridge stands 350 meters above the Qishui River, where it gets its name and spans the entire river. It's a double tower, single span steel truss suspension bridge that connects the Guizhou Jiangxigu and Sichuan Shugu expressways. This bridge was estimated to cost over $250 million and was incredibly hard to construct. With a total length of 2,009 meters, the Qishui Bridge adopts gravity anchorage on the Guizhou side and uses a tunnel anchorage on the Sichuan side. This bridge holds the record as the highest tower and second longest span suspension bridge in a mountainous area in the world. The construction defined the Qishui River Bridge as the most challenging job they had done in decades because of the impossible conditions around the mountainous area. The terrain made it impossible to use heavy equipment and they could not build an access road to the site. The team had to construct the main bridge deck as a truss off site and deliver it to the location. The bridge has a system of 158 cables supporting the bridge deck, keeping it secure from wind and other loading factors. Despite these seemingly insurmountable site conditions, the Chishui River Bridge opened with 19 months of construction to spare and saved over $2 million from the budget. This was an astounding feat for any mega project. The designers did this by reducing the bridge's tower foundation by 30% and reducing the earthwork attached. This led to a significant reduction in overall cost. This shows how China is ahead of the game in process optimization, resource allocation, and material innovation. Next on our list is the Henzang Mega Bridge. It is located in the Henzang Northwest Guizhou Province. This bridge has a central pier of 195 meters from the base camp, making it the world's fourth tallest pier. Only the Jingyang Bridge, Malau Viaduct, and the Mexican San Marcos bridges have taller piers supporting them. This super pier supports two main spaces of 180 meters and is a cable-stayed structure. The Henjiang Mega Bridge construction started in 2015 and opened to traffic in late 2018. This made a construction time of less than four years. This bridge significantly shortened the drive between Hangzhou and other cities in Hunan province. This connectivity brought an economic boom to the farming provinces. The Guizhou province, where this bridge is located, is home to 40 of the 100 highest bridges in the world, making it the world's museum for bridges. The total cost of this bridge was reportedly $150 million, designed to withstand strong winds and earthquakes. The Guizhou district is located on an active fault in the earth, which leads to earthquakes. Thus, this bridge is not an engineering masterpiece for its rare height, study looks, and modern outlook. The Henzong Mega Bridge is pivotal in saving the lives of the natives of the region. Next, 
we have the Wufeng Shan Yangtze River Bridge. This is the world's first high-speed railway suspension bridge. The two-decked suspension bridge supports a high-speed railway and the Jiangyai Highway over the Yangtze River. With a total length of 6,409 meters and a main span of 1,092 meters, the Wufeng Shan Yangtze River Bridge is the world's longest span high-speed railway bridge. Interestingly, it shares that record with the Hutong Yangtze River Bridge, which is also in China. The Chinese government embarked on this project in the 1960s to bring ultra-fast and ultra-efficient transport to the regions. However, the building techniques to actualize this project were grossly undeveloped. They, however, started construction in 2015, and the bridge was opened for railway traffic in December 2020. This high-speed train can cut travel between Shanghai and Lianyungang from 11 hours to 3 hours, making it one of the most efficient trains in the world. It is the first suspension bridge in China that combines railway and highway, revolutionizing what is possible in bridge engineering. To achieve this feat, the engineers had to use a new plate truss steel beam type and a full penetration welding method between the U-beam and the top deck. The Wufeng Shan Yangtze River Bridge has an eight-lane upper deck and a four-lane railway running 155 miles per hour. Designed by the China Railway Major Bridge Reconnaissance and Design Institute, this structure is the highest loading, largest spanning, and fastest running bridge of its kind. The bridge is equipped with dampers and tensioners to reduce deformation from the wind. The anchors of the bridge are some of the largest ever built as a caisson, and it has the largest main cable diameter in the world. Each cable on this bridge contains about 352 strands and has a diameter of 51 inches. From this bridge, it seems like Chinese engineers only build things that break records. The next mind-blowing bridge is the Green Juice Bridge. Located in the perilous mountain region of the Yunnan province, the Green Juice Bridge stands as the world's first single tower, single span suspension bridge in the world. Opened in April 2022, the Green Juice Bridge, named after the river over which it spans, stretches 798 meters and makes travel fast and scenic. Although in a remote province in China, this did not stop the government from erecting an engineering and gravity-defying marvel. This bridge is held on one side by a tower and is supported at both ends by cables, which gives an awe-inspiring look. This bridge has garnered critical acclaim as it gives a scenic drive over its imposing figure. Aside from a single column, no additional towers keep the bridge up. The maximum speed limit on the bridge is 100 kilometers per hour. This project commenced in 2019 and took three years to execute. It is the key section in the 190 kilometers long Yuchu Expressway, part of the 9,000 kilometers Yunnan Highway Network. The bridge connects Yuxi City and Chuxiang Yi Prefecture, significantly shortening the journey. This region is home to Yuxi City, known for its tobacco production, and Chuxiang, known for its dinosaur museum. This two-way, four-lane bridge connects directly to the tunnel. The steel girder of the bridge is divided into 61 sections, having a total weight of about 10,000 tons. The bridge is about 100 stories high from the valley. This bridge was built using the sliding erection of the steel box girder, which proffered a rare difficulty for engineers. This meant constant monitoring and inspection as the project progressed. Green Juice Bridge significantly reduces the crossing time between these two cities from almost two hours to two minutes. This boosts tourism and economic growth in the central Yunnan district. The bridge also promotes transportation and economic exchanges in the areas and improves investment in the region. The Yangbao Shan Bridge is another record-breaking bridge that stands unique on this list. It is the world's first six-lane bridge to exceed 300 meters in height. Built in the Guizhou province of China, this steel truss stiffened suspension bridge crosses the Qingshui River. This bridge stretches 1,112 meters and spans 650 meters. The six-lane bridge shortens the travel time between Guiyang and Huangping from five hours to just above one hour. 
It serves the ethnic minorities in Qiandongyan and Qianan prefectures. There are only six other suspension bridges with tower piers that exceed 100 meters below deck, most of which are in China. They include Sun Shihe, King Shuihe, Honghe Bridge Wanyuan, Dahe, Malinghe Fenglin, and Tiger Leaping Railway. It is a part of the Guiyang Huangping Highway, standing at 320 meters above a reservoir and 360 meters above the original river level. The engineers stress tested the Yang Baoshan Bridge by parking 48 large loaded trucks, weighing 1680 tons ahead of its opening. The cables used in this bridge weigh a total of 4,600 tons and are made of 36 high-strength galvanized steel wires. The total length of the steel wires used in this construction will exceed 26,000 kilometers. One other unique addition on this list is the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, HZMB. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is a 55 kilometer bridge tunnel system that spans the Lingding and Zhuzhou channels. It connects Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai and opened to the public after nine years of construction. This bridge is especially unique as it consists of a series of three cable stayed bridges, an undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands. This makes it the longest sea crossing and the longest open sea fixed link in the world. Costing over $18.8 .8 billion, this building started in 2009 and opened in 2018. The bridge was designed to meet the demands of passenger and freight land transport in the region and establish a new land transport link between the east and west banks of the Pearl River. The bridge connects three cities with a total population of 60 million. It is designed to last for 120 years and withstand earthquakes of 8 degrees on the Richter scale. The main 16-mile-long bridge has three sections of 5.6-mile span, crossing the main navigation channel with 4.2 and 4.9-mile spans on each side. The towers rise 298 feet above the deck, and ships with up to 206 feet of air draft can pass underneath. The 6.2-mile underwater tunnel burrows over 100 feet deep under the sea, held down by over 150,000 tons of concrete and steel. Inside, two levels of traffic lanes accommodate cars and trucks. A unique design allows emergency vehicle access between levels. Advanced ventilation, drainage, and waterproofing systems enable safe tunnel operation. The artificial islands are connected by a submarine tunnel which allows for servicing and transportation of key maintenance officials. Four artificial islands provide the transitions between the tunnel and the bridge spans. The islands required sizable land reclamation and house customs, immigration, and supporting facilities. Journey times between the major cities are now around 40 minutes, down from over three hours. The HZMB employs state-of-the-art wind and seismic-resistant designs capable of withstanding Category 8 typhoons and magnitude 8 earthquakes. The long bridges are designed in segments with joints to handle extreme weather. Tower foundations employ alert systems to detect strong wind and wave impacts. Advanced monitoring systems provide 24 7 oversight of both bridge and tunnel sections. Fiber optic sensors track vehicle traffic, wind speeds, vibrations and strains on the structure. CCTV, fire detection, and emergency response systems maximize safety. Careful simulation and modeling optimize the bridge design. Lastly on this list is the Shenzhen Zhongshan Channel, which is under construction across the Pearl River estuary. Connecting Shenzhen and Zhongshan in Guangdong provinces in China, this channel will include the world's longest bridge span at over 25 miles. After failing to be included in the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge project in the 2000s, Shenzhen decided to embark on its connection bridge in 2011. The Greater Bay Area is home to over 68 million people and covers major Chinese cities. It is also home to hundreds of multi-billion dollar firms, including the Chinese Silicon Valley. The bridges are expected to link the cities together in a new and diverse way that links to the airport and other important facilities. 
This cross-channel link will consist of a 13-mile long bridge section, a 6.2-mile immersed tube tunnel, and another 5.6-mile bridge section. The main bridge span stretching across the navigation channel will exceed 25 miles, surpassing the previous record of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge. The bridge is expected to reduce the travel time between Shenzhen and Zhongshan from two hours to about 30 minutes, which would have an immense economic impact. The channel bridge employs a lightweight steel box girder design supported by mega-towering pylons up to 920 feet tall. The bridge uses advanced materials like high-performance concrete and steel to reduce its weight while ensuring strength. The tall pylons allow large container ships to pass underneath, giving an incredible view from down below. The tunnel portion of the bridge comprises over 100 precast concrete sections sunk into a trench dredged across the seabed. The 12,000-ton tunnel elements were first fabricated inland and then towed to the site for precision sinking and connection nearly 130 feet under the sea. The tunnel provides six lanes for traffic, which would carry all forms of vehicles. Four artificial islands will serve as the critical transition hubs between the bridge and tunnel sections. The project balances navigational requirements, environmental impact, and construction complexity by combining bridges and a tunnel. In 2023, the builders claimed a new record by paving more than 243,200 square feet of asphalt in a single day. This is the equivalent of more than 50 basketball courts. Cutting-edge wind tunnel testing has optimized the bridge's aerodynamic performance. The pylons are shaped to reduce vortex shedding forces. Vibration absorbers and active camber control systems will also be installed to dampen motion. The structure is designed to withstand winds up to 134 miles per hour and other environmental impacts. This bridge stands just 20 miles away from the previously explored Hong Kong Zhuhai Mazao Bridge. Innovative safety systems include structural health monitoring, CCTV surveillance, fire detection, emergency telephones, and air quality sensors. The bridge design was informed by extensive hydrodynamic, geotechnical, and seismic studies to maximize resilience. These studies would ensure that the bridge is functional with minimal negative impact on the users. This project is estimated to cost $4.83 billion and speaks to China's obsession with ambitious engineering projects. The bridge is expected to boost regional connectivity and economic integration while setting a new global record. Without a doubt, China is out to make a statement to the world about its engineering abilities and economic prowess. It also shows a dedication to opening up lesser-known cities and bringing potential opportunities. These bridges bring about the possibility of easily accessible tourist attractions and reduce travel time for busy cities. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, Make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.